Okay, so in this tutorial, I'll show you how to do the abstract factory pattern in Python. This uh, will use what I created in the factory pattern tutorial. Okay, so the abstract uh, factory pattern adds an abstract layer over multiple factory method implementations. And the abstract factory contains or composites one or more than one factory method. Okay, so it's very similar to the factory method, but rather than returning a concrete, an object of concrete class, what it will do is return f the factories of those concrete classes. So here on the top left of this image here, I've got a chair factory, and down the bottom I've got a table factory, and they're pretty much identical. And they are both separate factories. And, and say, uh, in, I'll just quickly show an example. Okay, so this is a quick, quick an example of uh, a um, of using a uh, of of uh, an abstract factory because you see this uh, thing on the left here, this panel here, is able to give me chairs and tables, for for ex for example. So here we go. I want a table, it's going to go to the table factory and give me this particular table and uh, chair, I want a chair, it's going to get the chair from the chair factory. There we go, we've got a table and chair, excellent. So looking at this image again, so there's a, an application here, this in Python, it will ask the furniture factory, get me a furniture of type say big chair or small table and it will either go to chair factory or go to the table factory to get that information and the furniture factory implements the i furniture factory interface now to look at this same image zoomed out slightly we can see that this is the chair factory on the left top left and this is the table factory on the bottom left and they're pretty much identical but this that's specific to chairs and that's specific to tables all right, so uh, let's get coding. Okay, so what I've got is this f f chair factory I created in the previous tutorial. I'm just going to uh, copy this chair factory and I'm going to create a table factory from it very, very quickly. So Okay, so that works. So what we've got here is I've got two factories now, a chair factory and a table factory. So what I need to do is create that abstraction layer on top of it. And so now I'm going to create the uh, abstract factory interface so that I can query from both of those factories. Let's do that now. So let's create a furniture, furniture abstract factory there we go so dot pi okay so same thing again import uh sorry from from abc import in import abc meta and abstract static method Let's create the i furniture interface as described in uh, this image over here. So we're going to create the i furniture factory interface up there now. So class i furniture factory meta class equals abc meta in my previous video on the factory pattern i explained uh, how the meta class abc meta works and what it does so here we go so we want one abstract static method to find get furniture and uh yes and uh the static furniture factory interface method 
Excellent. Okay, that's the interface. Let's create the uh, furniture factory class now, which will implement that. Furniture factory class furniture factory. Um, they will implement the i. Well, they will inherit from the i furniture factory there. It's one static method and define get furniture. Yep, there we go. And that's gonna actually I'm supposed to do this furniture furniture type. There we go. Furniture type. Let's just try uh, except. Okay. If now, if we would look at our ch chair factory, we can see we have several kinds of chairs: a big chair, a medium chair, and a uh, small chair. And this is what we're comparing against down here in my chair abstract. If a furniture type in big chair. medium chair small chair we will return a chair now I haven't imported this yet so from chair factory import whoops import chair factory and the same for the other one from table factory import table factory so here we go so return chair factory dot get chair furniture type excellent and we'll do the same while we're here for the table so big uh, big table, medium table, and a small table. Get that's in the table factory. Table factory get uh, dot get table furniture type. And if we reach this point, we should raise an assertion error. Um, cannot find. Furniture type, fur furniture type. Okay, um, per accept uh, assertion error as a um, print C. All right, um, Colin. That is the abstract factory class there which implements the i furniture factory interface um, i must also return none actually return none in case we do get the error the uh, let's uh okay so let's try that out so if name equals main right my furniture furniture my furniture equals furniture factory furniture factory dot get furniture small chair now that should go off and detect there's a small chair and ask the chair factory for my small chair. Let's print um, well let's let's do this again print furniture dot class um, furniture dot get dimensions let's give that a try python furniture oh, i've spelled it funny 
Furniture Abstract Factory. Radio, it's giving me a chair factory small chair. Okay, let's try let's try get something else. Let's get a uh, s see if I can get a small table from it. There we go, a table. Oh, it's giving me a small table. There you go. Let's get a big table. And there's a big table. All right, so that's it, really. That, that's the abstract factory pattern in Python. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share.